Doom 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 do 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 ice ice isolate good evening class we're gonna do a lesson on solving equations okay the first step okay is to look at equations and read out what the equation is asking read out what is expressed here okay so instead of saying x plus 6 equals 11 for this rather simple equation here. Um, let's, instead of saying x, let's say what? Okay? It's an unknown. x is a variable unknown, so we're going to call that what? So let's read what it says. What plus 6 equals 11? Hmm. I think I can answer that. Um, is it 3? 3 plus 6? No, that's 9. Okay, so how about 5? 5 plus 6? Yeah, that's 11. Good. So we can say, hey, the answer is 5. 5 plus 6 equals 11. And so actually we solve that equation using mental math. All right? So we can say x equals 5. Okay? However, if you were not sure what plus 6 equals 11, well, we can use a strategy of kind of working backwards here and undoing uh, whatever's there with, this, with the x. So let's look at this equation as having two sides, okay, divided by the equal sign. The equal sign separates the left side and the right side. So we can just draw a dotted line right down there below the equal sign, okay? So if we want to figure out what x is, we want to actually get x all by itself on the left side of that equal sign. Okay, so what's there that we don't want? We don't want the 6. We don't want to know what x plus 6 is. We want to know what x is. Okay, so let's get rid of that 6 there. Okay, because the 6 is connected to the x with addition, we can undo it with subtraction. Okay, so let's subtract out that 6. Minus 6. And do you remember the golden rule here? Whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to the other side. Okay, so we subtracted 6 on the left side. Let's subtract 6 on the right side here. Nice. 6 minus 6 becomes 0. We could just cross those two out. We bring down the x and we're left with x equals 11 minus 6. Okay, 11 minus 6 is 5. So there we go. We get the same result, okay, that we got using mental math. Okay. And we really want to know these strategies because mental math is not always going to be the answer. Okay? For example, for this next equation. Sorry, Tiffany, I don't want to scare you. Don't bite me now, don't bite me, don't bite out. Oh. No, she didn't bite me. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's try this multi step equation 3x plus 7 equals. 25. You want to do, ouch, you want to do some math or you want to bite me? Okay? Now that hurt. Okay, so here we have left side again and a right side. And the fortunate thing about equations is you're only going to have one equal sign. So you know where to put your dotted line. Okay? So um, we want to get rid of the 7. And we want to get rid of the 3. We want to have x all by itself. Some of you may be able to do this using mental math. But why don't you get some practice anyways using these strategies, okay, of undoing these other numbers. Okay, so let's get rid of the 7 like we just learned. We can subtract out 7 from the left side. But because we subtracted 7 from that side, we're going to have to do the same thing to the right side. So subtract 7 there. Okay. And we'll bring everything else down. So 7 minus 7 is 0, so we can just cross those out. Bring down the 3x, and we're left with 3x equals 25 minus 7. Okay? That's 18. So we're left with 3x equals 18. Now we just need to get rid of the 3, and we're in business. Right? <laughs> okay, so how do we get rid of the 3? Any ideas? That's a good idea. That's a good guess. Okay. All right. I think I see what you're getting at. Um, <laughs> when you see 3x, 3 is the coefficient, 
x is the variable, okay? No one needs to tell you, but you know there's multiplication going on between those two, okay? They're connected by multiplication. You really don't see it, but there's a little dot there. Three times x, okay? So just as we undid addition with subtraction, we're going to undo that multiplication with its inverse operation, which is division, okay? So here, we, here what we're going to do is we're going to divide 3 by itself. And we can just draw a little line under the 3 and draw another 3. And if you know, if you're familiar with fractions, okay, that's 3 thirds, okay? Now, what is 3 thirds? Well, if you have a candy bar and it's cut into 3 parts, okay, and you have all 3 parts, right? Isn't it safe to say that you have 3 thirds of a candy bar or you have the whole candy bar? You have one candy bar, right? So that 3 thirds is the same thing as 1. In fact, that's the rule that's going to help us a lot here when we try to isolate x, okay? Any, any number over itself is 1. So that's why we did that. This, you can cross that out and replace it with a 1. So now we're left with 1x equals 18. Hey, right, Sadie. Okay. This is uh, now, because we divided this side by a 3, we want to divide the other side by a 3 as well. Oh, thank you. I'll use that sweater. She wants me to put this sweater on. All right. Don't get cold. Uh, don't get cold. I won't get cold. <laughs> That's what I tell her all the time. Okay. So, next thing. Why you got a camera? We divided this side by 3. Why you got a camera? Because I'm filming. I'm making a lesson. Oh. Okay. Thank you. You I love you. Yes? I'm going to do it on the chalkboard. Oh. Okay. All right. So, she's a cutie pop. I should film her, but right now we're going to just focus on the lesson. Okay? All right. So we divide by 3 on this side. What do we have to do to the other side? That's right. We have to divide it by 3 as well. Okay? So, we're left with 1x, or just x, equals 18 divided by 3 is 6. So there, we've just solved a multi-step equation by using some very uh, simple steps, I would say. Okay? And um, I, I really believe if you can tie your shoe, okay, then I think you can solve this. Just do one, one step at a time. Get rid of the 7, okay? Get rid of the 3. You've isolated x. Doom, 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 doom. Ice, ice, isolate. Oh. Okay. Now, she does not like that when you just all of a sudden go to pet her. But if I'm gentle and I'm slow, watch this. And it's, ow. Mm. She didn't like that either. Okay. Okay. All right, we're cool. We're cool. We're cool. Okay. All right. Anyways, guys, what is this all about? Why are we isolating X? Why are we solving equations? Okay. Well, let's take a real life example. Let's imagine you go to a baseball game, okay? And you're buying some sodas and a hot dog, okay? So let's, let's imagine we're trying to figure out how many sodas we can buy if we have exactly $7.60. Well, let's say we have $7.60 to spend, okay? And the sodas, let's say they're $1.20 each, okay? So $1.20 per soda. Now, hmm, how many sodas are we going to buy? We don't know yet. That's going to be our unknown, okay? That's going to be our what? A dollar twenty times, we're going to call that X, okay? So, a dollar twenty for each soda, okay? That's going to tell us how much we're spending on sodas, okay? So, we're going to express that with 1.20X, okay? Plus, let's say the hot dog is four dollars. So, we say plus four and we want it to equal, like I said, we have 760 to spend. So here we have an equation. We made our own equation based on a real life situation. Okay? Dollar twenty times the number of sodas plus four for the hot dog is equal to 760. So let's solve it and figure out how many sodas we're getting. Okay? Well, let's draw a dotted line. I always like to do that done hundreds or thousands of equations, but I still like to do the dotted line. Okay, let's get rid of the 4. Do you remember how to do that? 
Can you guide me through it? Subtract 4? Correct. We're going to subtract 4 from this side. We're going to subtract 4 from that side. Okay? And we're left with 120x equals 7 minus 4 is 360. Nice. Okay? So we want to know what that what is. How many sodas? How many sodas? Well, we want to get rid of that dollar twenty, that one twenty. How do we do it? Well, remember there's multiplication going on. So we want to undo the multiplication with division. So we just divide that by one twenty. Divide this side by one twenty. Okay. So anything over itself, remember the rule. Okay. We can. Whoops. Drop my chalk. No problem, I got plenty of chalk in there. This is loaded with chalk. And uh, 120 over 120, anything over itself is 1. So we can cross it out and put a 1. Or we know 1x is just x. So x equals, ah, we have to divide this side by 120 as well. So 360 divided by 120. I don't mind if you use your calculators. Okay? But fortunately, it's a nice even number. It becomes 3. x equals 3. That's the unknown quantity here, which we said represents the number of sodas. Okay? You see why are we why are we doing this? It's pretty cool. It's everywhere, everywhere. Anything you're doing, okay? You're pumping gas. How many gallons of gas can you pump? Okay? How many miles can you um, you know if you're walking? How many miles did you walk if you walked a certain uh, time? Okay? It's everywhere. Function. This this is actually. Um, leads you to the topic of functions, but we're not going to get to that today, okay? But what I would like to get to is next. What if we had an equation? So far we've done equations with the variable on just one side of the equal sign, okay? What if we had variables on both sides of the equal sign, okay? Let's try it. Okay, let's imagine we had an equation 9x plus 4 equals 6x plus 22. Okay, let's imagine we have that. Well, in this case, we're still going to draw a dotted line. By the way, I had a nice whiteboard, and uh, I was going to use it, but my kids drew on it with regular markers. So, uh, <laughs> it's a mess. This, this is old fashioned, but it still does the job. Okay? So, the trick here, guys, is that, okay, we want to get x by itself. We still want to isolate x. Okay? But which side are we going to isolate x on? We have to choose. Let's, um, let's get x. Why don't we say we're going to get x alone on the left side? Okay? So, if we want x's on the left side, okay, we have a 6x on the right, right side here, okay, can we, how can we get the 6x from this side to that side? Hmm, well, it's connected by, t by a plus, which means addition, so why don't we undo it by a subtraction, right? It's the same concept. So we subtract out 6x from this side, now we have to do the same thing on this side, minus 6x. This is gone. 9x minus 6x, those are like terms. Okay? So we can actually combine those or we can subtract here. 9x minus 6x becomes 3x. And let's bring everything else down. We have 3x plus 4, we didn't touch that yet, equals, bring the 22 down. And now you have a pretty similar multi-step equation to what we did, did before, okay? Yeah, so now we want to get x by itself on this side of the equal sign. So what do we want to get rid of? The 4, naturally. Minus 4. What do we have to do to this side? Subtract 4. Nice. Okay, this is gone. Bring everything down. We're left with 3x equals 22 minus 4, anyone? 18. 